Okay, so today we're going to go through how you can upload your inventory into the Vibrant system uh, using a CSV file. It is a very simple process. Um, however, there are just a couple of things you need to be aware of that need to be done prior to this. So the first thing is to make sure that you have connected up your Vibrant system with the accounting system that you're using. So whether it be um, Xero or QuickBooks or whichever one you might be using that we're integrated with, make sure they're connected. Um, if you are using Vibrant as a standalone system, then you just need to make sure that your um, income accounts and your tax codes are correctly configured um, just to make sure it all processes correctly. The other thing you need to do is to make sure you create your period types for the inventory items. Um, this can be done through uh, configurations and then item management menu. I will do a little video on that a little later. And the third thing you need to make sure you do before you upload your inventory is to create all of your categories and subcategories to make sure all the inventory goes into the correct category. Um, this can be done through the inventory tab and then item category menu. And again, I'll do a little video on that a little later. So um, just say you've done those few things and you are ready to uh, upload your inventory. This is how you would do it. So basically starting from the home screen of Vibrant, you would click across invent to inventory and then import, uh, item import, sorry. And then from here, you would download the template. Um, now, just be aware that you need to select whether you're doing a serial number import or a bulk item import, um, as that will determine which template you download. So you would select which one of those apply to the inventory you're wanting to download, and then you would click on download template. That would then open up a CSV file that looks very much like this. Um, you, I would presume, um, would have your inventory saved elsewhere in another spreadsheet or, or maybe written down, I'm not sure. Um, but you would then just import all of that data into this spreadsheet and make sure the corresponding information is in the correct columns. So you want to put your inventory type as rental, um, the name of the item, the, mo the model number, a description of it, the category and subcategory, um, your the tax codes that will apply to. There's a few different things, again, that the, a lot of this will be pre-entered based on the other tasks that you did. And then once you have put all of your inventory into this spreadsheet and you are confident that it's uh, ready to go, um, you would save it and then you would just re-upload it. And to upload that file, you would just click on choose file, uh, select that file, and then just press on start import. And that is how you would upload your data.